<laughs> Scratch. What's up, guys? This is Todd RC Drag Talk, and today, yes, today, we are gonna cover my newest build. Um, it's the Rudis Motorsports R A E Roy Anderson Engineering Driveline. This is the same car that uh, Mike Ray knocked back that. 1.3 at 100 miles an hour. Um, so I contacted Tony. I had him make me a, a drive line, and man, let me tell you, like, this is an incredible piece of engineering. When it comes to drive lines, you guys have two choices: Drag Race Concept, Ken Loopy, great car. He makes an absolutely great car. Um, and then you got Tony Rudis with the the RAE drive line. Um, the reason I went with Tony is I run RAE for my pro stock. Um, Tony's super awesome guy, super awesome to deal with, uh, great customer support, and builds a really nice car. And, and uh, you know, so I, I, I chose on this build to go with Tony. And uh, the car showed up. I got the 10 spoke aluminum front wheels on it. And uh, dude, just everything's really nice, really, really nicely made. The car was really well assembled. It's got the new Rudis Motorsports uh, wheelie bar on it, single wheel. Um, I went with the Cordova Research Motor. It's the 1418 9900 KV. Um, one of my buddies out in Texas had it. He was going to build a Pro Mod, decided that he wasn't going to build it right now, and uh, reached out to me and hooked me up with the, the Cordova Motor at an incredible price. So. You know who you are, buddy, and I freaking appreciate you, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, for steering on this, I, I'm trying a different MKS servo. We're going to go ahead and use the MKS DS92A+. So this is a cylindrical servo. So this servo actually rotates 360 degrees. So if I turn the wheel, I could just keep it spinning in one direction. Almost use it as like a micro winch. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then... Uh, uh, for the ESC on this one, I went with a Mamba Monster 2 uh, Retro. So this is running the 1.24 uh, version of the Castle ESC software. Um, I ran the Castle uh, capacitor pack. It works really well. I just figured I'd keep everything Castle. Um, of course, you know, we run the Gropner XE8 or X80 uh, controller, so Gropner receivers on it um, yeah it's it's ready to go it's got a Trinity white carbon 4000 milliamp 2s lipo in it um, it's what I had so that's what we're gonna run in it and uh, yeah this is just this is a really really well-made car uh, from the assembly you know at, at this stage I was able to uh, go ahead grab some scales throw it on the scales and this car is pretty much perfectly balanced um, I'll, I'll go ahead and scale it for you guys just so you guys can see like I haven't set anything up on it this this car this car has zero weights on it I, I really didn't plan it I, I just kind of rough assembled it right now to see how everything fits um, but but check this out let me grab some scales and I'll show you All right, you can't really see the numbers anyway, so talk about it. We'll just fucking edit that little part out. So, this is the car. Um, this is just fresh after the build. Throw it on the scale, you guys can see it. It balances pretty freaking nice. I mean, I'm one off of a 50-50-50 car. Um, that's pretty much how I'll run it. So what I'll do is I'll get it balanced out. I'll get all the screws tightened and I'll get everything ready to uh, run. Right now, this is just uh, the initial setup. Um, this is no time involved in the chassis yet. So that'll be my next step is I'll get involved in dialing in the chassis, making sure the chassis is all balanced out and the car is pretty much 50-50, 50-50. That's what I'm personally looking for. That's how I like to drive my car. Um, everybody has their own way of how they like to set things up. But for me, in general, that is how I set my car up. So 50-50, 50-50. Um, 
Right now the car is 35.6 ounces and I have the battery right here. So I'll be perfectly weighed once I get the body on. This car weighed 39 ounces and I'm hoping that it's a freaking monster. I want to see this thing do crazy, crazy, crazy passes down the 132 feet. Um, this is going to be a new learning curve for me. I've never ran a driveline car. Um, I do have experience with the Cordova and the Monster and setting up uh, on how to set up the tunes and that, so that's not the issue. Uh, yeah, it's going to be basically I got to learn the rollout. That's important um, on driveline because you're pretty much committed when you pick a driveline, the ring and pinion, you're pretty much committed. So a lot of your tuning is going to come into play from uh, tire height. And, and, and basically, the tire height is going to determine how fast it, it spins in RPMs. You know, the taller the tire, the slower the RPM. But if it's too low of a tire, then I max myself out in top end. So uh, it's going to be a lot of testing and, and a lot of cutting of tires and a lot of uh, uh, experimentation, you know. This is, this is part of learning how to go fast is putting in the time. So yeah, that's how you, uh, you, you you make your adjustments in the tune, you know, with your defined gearing because your gearing's preset so I don't have the option of, of pinning gears. So yeah, tire height. But uh, we'll be testing and tuning this month on the 30th. Um, my awesome man here, Tyler, is going to get tons of video footage. As um, soon as we get some video footage of this thing, I'm going to make one pass soft see how it runs make sure it goes straight and then the second pass that he gets is we're gonna throw everything I can possibly put in it and we're just gonna let it rip and see where it goes I'm hoping for something fast I you know I, I, I'm new to this the driveline thing so I know I ain't gonna be my gray fast but you know that's the goal is to get my gray fast the, the one three at 100 plus miles an hour is my goal um, I think I can do it it's just gonna take time uh, being a new style of car but yeah we're gonna do it I've got the TSR speed shop in my in, you know in, in behind me and they're gonna support me and and help me get it tuned and you know I got that wizard Tim Smith helping me I got Mike Smith helping me so I got a few people that know about this stuff and uh, it's time for me to sit back and be a kid and learn again because man there's some ninjas out there with some skills and I need to learn some of those skills to get this car to go really fast. And Tony, you know, I got Tony Rudis to reach out to too. There's all kinds of people that, that make these cars fast, so. That's it, man. This is, uh, this is my new driveline. And uh, can't wait to run it, man. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching RC Drag Talk. Thanks for supporting Tyler and myself on the RC Drag Talk. We need to get some more going. We're going to be doing more in the future. We're going to try to get a more... Uh, consistency with it we'll be seeing each other a lot more now that we're drag racing again so the consistency consistency is going to be coming back and uh, if you guys have anything you want us to cover you have questions uh, just know please send them to us we might not be able to answer them immediately um, some of them we might have to reach out to people but we will get you any answers to any questions you send us and we will do the best to do it as fast as we possibly can so you guys have a great day I'm Todd with RC Drag Talk have a nice one